Alright guys, Shelly here with The Novelist, my first let's play of this game. Um, I decided to take a little break from Walking Dead and Long Live the Queen, not like a permanent thing, like, you know, just like, oh, let's do something random that I just bought and I haven't played yet. Anyway, um, pretty much this game is an interactive where you get to choose uh, the path that you take for this family. I'm not sure how many choices you make or anything like that. It just reminded me of Gone Home and I like those type of games, but if you don't like those type of games, this, night, this might not be your cup of tea. Um, this was... Oh, select the difficulty. The Kaplans will be able to see you, so stay out of sight. Story of the Kaplans won't be able to see you, so explore freely. Um, I don't know. Which one would... Uh... What happens if they've seen me? I don't know. Let's, let's just do story for right now. Uh, yes. Um, what was I saying? Oh, you can buy this on Steam for fourteen ninety nine. I think it's $15. Uh, let's... Do the tutorial. The novelist. I'll leave a link in the description for this game. I like it from what I've seen of like the video, but I like that type of you know game. So kind of reminded me of Heavy Rain without the murder this in it. Is it. Wow! Look at this place. Wow! Still can't believe the deal we got. They are like incredibly small compared to this house. Where's my room? Right where up I, there, buddy. Where I tell you where it's at. W is emerge. Oh, okay. Like walking around. Look at the letter on the dining room table and read it by pressing space. What? Mr. Kaplan. Kaplan. Welcome to the <laughs> Welcome to your home for the summer. We're ex very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit visit memorable visit. Wow. This is why I'm taking a break from uh, Long Live the Queen because I can't talk. We have you booked through August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared and our cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at Mc Clinton, Clinton's in town and if you'd like to eat dinner out there's quite a few restaurants on Meredith Avenue just off Fairview if you have any questions or if you run into any trouble at all please don't hesitate to call Pete Fuller oh. okay I did that ooh look at the light fixture and press space I can <laughs> possess light fixtures you can possess any light fixture in the house by looking at it and pressing space. You can even jump from one light fixture to another in order to move quickly or more quickly. Press E to continue. Use possession to reach the upstairs office. Ooh, how far can this go? Ooh, I like this. Where's the office? Don't know, I just keep go. Oh, found it. <laughs> that was easy. Six days later. Apparently, I beat we'll be the tutorial. Back in a little bit. Okay. They're never coming back. All I see is white screen. Okay, there we go. So you're so bright. Your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome, and it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one character, you can uncover um, uncover compromises that will help the family. Press E to continue. Writer's block. After a week at the house the I wish it would like let you see it okay return to the office and look for clues space 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 Dan's journal is on the desk read it oh, that seems a little invasive don't you think writer's block I oh I don't have to talk during this writer's block there again those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. And that was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. 
Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. Or maybe if you didn't spend like 20 minutes writing this letter. To yourself, my dad. Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. Now that you know what's troubling him, you should search the house. Wow, search the house. I don't know why search is such a hard word for me. For him to discover more about his dilemma. E to continue. But what if I want to read what he's writing? Whoa. It's a little hard to navigate. Okay, look for Dan in the bedroom. Where's the bedroom? This bedroom? When you look at a character, you can press space to see what they're thinking about. E to continue. Hi, Dan. If this doesn't work, then what? The cloud around da Dan's head indicates that he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn more about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. That seems a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Just have to focus on leaving all that back home. Cam okay, in his memory. Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely. Follow the sounds to locate different moments that are on his mind. When you find a specific moment, press space to uncover more about what's troubling Dan in this chapter. You can exit Dan's memory whenever you wish and can return to it any time by approaching him from behind pressing space. Why does it have to be behind? Because it seems a little weird, not gonna lie. Do you think coming here will help? Yes. It has to. Well, that's kind of neat, though. It's like, is that all they say? Do you think coming here will help? It has to. Do you think coming here will help? It has to. I guess so. Okay. Right. And then you press E to exit the memory. I said I found one out of three of his clues, so... Oh. This guy moves really quickly. Kind of dizzying. Come on, I'm pressing space. Tony rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. <laughs> he's mental, emotional me sponge. All the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? I don't get why you lied, Dan. You could have just told him the truth. You found all the moments in this character's memories. I only found... I guess I, maybe I did find three. You can come back and re-examine them at any time, or you can exit and explore the other character's memories. Press E to continue. Alright, E to exit. Oh, whoa. What's Dan, going on? Dan, we're back! Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for their clues, discover what's on their minds, and explore their memories. If you learn what all the characters want, you can learn or earn additional opportunities to influence their story. Press E to continue. All right, let's. Honey, what you doing? Racing. Let's let's read this note because that's not evasive. Space. Bob, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today, and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. Hey, Mommy. 
You can always press tab to see your progress and find out what you need to do to move forward. You can press escape to view the help screen or adjust options and your screen size, mouse sensitivity, volume, voiceover style, and more. Well, let's adjust that um, mouse sensitivity for sure. Continue. Okay, that's that's better. You're just moving so fast. Get motion sickness so easily. Anyway, um, I guess I need to find Tommy's clues. That's the name, right? Tommy. Cars. Board game. Um. It's going. It's going okay. Oh, there's the little kid. What's this? What's this? I want to read it. Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good, those are still the beats, those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted. Dan. Sounds like he's telling more white lights, because didn't he just say that he had a lot of uh, writer's block? You have discovered enough about this character to find out what they want to resolve in this chapter, read their thoughts to learn how they can help them. Hey, well, right now, I want to uh, figure out the rest of their thoughts. What's this? What's this? Pick up more canvas, art stores, anywhere in town, galleries, or studios. She's an artiste. Oh, maybe it's in the bathroom? No. Oh, there they are. What's this? Can't be. It's such a crazy oh, thought. Oh, her journal. Three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a right It's haunted. Or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got like yourself didn't know this. Buzz right away. So much time to work. I haven't had a space like this in forever, probably since I left the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. I don't know if I would like a room with all these windows. I'd be like afraid of like looking out one day and like someone just standing there and staring at me. Of course, you know, I watch too many scary movies, but you know that it's still a legit fear. Move kid, you're blocking me. I'm wanting to see this game. Oh look how happy the kid is, but look how sad the father is. Whoops, I didn't want to explore your memories, kid. I just wanted to read your thoughts. Hey, look. How do you read thoughts again? Oh, you don't come up from behind. That's right. No, that, that's still... I thought you had to be from behind them to get their memories. Okay, so I have to search her memories for more clues, search the house and his memories for more clues. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and... Hey, uh. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Aww. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but we know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. So it doesn't sound like they're doing well at all. Which doesn't surprise me. But they're holding hands here. Me too. I promise. Me too. I promise. Me too. 
I promise. Me too. Oops, wrong button. Tab. You have discovered everything in Linda's memory. E. Hey, bud. All right, let's find some stuff for Tommy. Where was his room again? Oh, God. Motion sickness. Well, here's his room. That was that toy he was playing with. Does that mean anything? No. Have to. Oh. Nope. Oh. Aw, look how sad Tommy is. Oh, I found two out of three of his clues. Anything in the bathroom? No. Kid gets his own bathroom? I never got my own bathroom when I was little. Alright, let's see. Where else could his clues be? Maybe in here somewhere? Oh God, it feels like someone's like following right behind me. Maybe downstairs. Let's try that. Maybe his clues are his clothes. His clues are in forms of pictures. That would make sense, right? His little kid. Oh, is that a clue? No. I'm struggling with this game so much. All right, but I'm assuming it's like more pictures, because that was what the first two clues were. Oh, is it this one? Is this a clue? Is this a clue? No, that's exploring your memories. I don't want to explore your memories, kid. I've seen that one. God, Dan's like stomping upstairs. He's like angrily like, just marching around. How's it going, Tom? Okay. Okay, let's just go and explore his memories. How do you read memories? I guess it's just, or read their thoughts. I guess it was just like memories only. Okay, where are little Tommy's at? Oh, they're there. Can I go out there? Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. Aw, he sounds lonely. Okay. Um, explore Tommy's memories to uncover more about this chapter. So I still have to find more. He's probably in his room or something. Which one was his room? That one. Aw, so unhappy. Okay, did I? He found everything. Okay, sorry. It's like a learning process. E. Maybe like. Okay. Read his thoughts. Read her thoughts. Read his thoughts. How do you read thoughts? No, no. E. Oh. Mm. To choose a character's outcome, find the object in blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you'd like to discover the other characters want to. To do. To do. Characters desires objects can be viewed by pressing the tab. What did he want? Just us all summer. I don't know, they interrupted me during his final thoughts. Oh, me and Daddy can play Ro Race and Roger. Hmm. Okay. Where's Linda? Linda. Hmm. Both What's of them's new? here. Not much. <sighs> Way to be open to conversation, guys. We could have a bottle of wine, hang out like we used to. Where's my notebook? I know I had something good. Okay, let's do... Hey, Mommy! Can I only pick one? Can I pick more than one? I don't know. <coughs> let's go ahead and do his. Is that his notebook? Is that what he's talking about? Writer's block. No, that's... That's not it. Is that your notebook? I just want to figure out how to play this game. Oh. Is that your notebook? 
Selecting the notebook, we'll choose Dan's resolution for this chapter. Linda and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you discovered Linda or Tommy's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with um, one of them in the next chapter. Press Escape to continue playing, or press E to choose Dan's outcome and finish the chapter. This prompt can be disabled via Options. Let's go ahead and do that one. Bright lights. What's up now? The Kaplans are asleep. Explore the house for clues about its past, then whisper your decision to Dan. By learning the desire of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Press Tab to view uh, possible compromises and or pr and press E to continue. Okay. So I'm supposed to explore the house and find these thingies here. From the desk of Harold Boxter. Mr. Lowry finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect the house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I am correct. A property this uh, like this simply doesn't change... Uh, wow. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I uh, was cleaning the out old files and this house kept coming up. It's changed owners seven times in the last 13 years. I began digging and not a single one of the sales was uh, financially motivated. People just seem to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else. Which doesn't add up in my mind. This view is striking. The isolation and privacy alone make it a great property. The remote can be an issue. A uh, remoteness. Certainly no one can afford this kind of home needs to work for money. It's a mystery and that's why I'm here. So apparently no one wants this house. I wonder why. <laughs> Alright, let's press the tab. Explore house I still need to explore, I think. You might... Oh. Bottle of wine and racing car garage. I think I'm gonna do the wine because they're not like connecting. Does that make sense? Can win every time. It's very important for them to connect, I think. The desk of Harold Boxster. Standing in the kitchen, drinking coffee, and admiring the view, I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this um, every morning? That appears to be the qu great question of 451 Timberline Road. I slept very well last night. It's a good thing I, uh, the previous owners left the house furnished. It was just about as quiet as at, um, anywhere I've ever been. The only sounds today are the ocean and a few birds. After I finish breakfast, I began, or I plan to begin my um, inspection later. I was inspecting the upstairs walkway to make sure the uh, railing was sturdy when I saw something odd downstairs. I'm not certain I can describe what it was, and I've already talked myself a halfway out of thinking it was anything at all. It was probably just a trick of the light coming through those big windows. It was a ghost. Ideas for a second one. Could he tell? Could he tell what? Oh, that was his journal. That's right. Anything in here? No? How about Tommy's? This episode's gonna be a little slow because we're still trying to figure out things. But, um, I'm probably only gonna do one day to day and then when, you know, I get started more, I'll probably do m one or two in the next couple episodes, or that's what I'm hoping. Okay, there's the bottle of wine. Stupid corner. Alright, press space to select. Selecting the wine will choose the Linda's compromise for this chapter. You can only choose one compromise per chapter. Press E to continue. Alright, and then I have to go whisper to Dan. It's kind of creepy. Dan. I think you should drink wine with your wife. I mean, how creepy would that be? Like, hmm, I don't know where I got this idea, but you know what? I think I should drink wine with my wife. Did, did it really just say, I think you should drink wine with your wife? Because that's what it sounded like. 
It came to Dan in a flash. He would written down an idea in an old notebook before coming to the house. It had somehow fallen behind the desk in the bedroom, and though he had no clue what gave him the idea to check where he had found it um, just the same. Instead of relaxing with Linda or playing with Tommy, he sat down at the typewriter and wrote for hours. I know you can't read that fast. Ah. The next night, Linda decided to have a bottle of wine herself after giving up hope that Don, uh, Dawn would take the night off with them ketchup. She was a glass and a half into the bottle when he surprised her with coming down to help her finish it, and though they didn't have the whole night together, it was um, better than another evening apart. I at least finished that one. All and then Dan's mind was elsewhere when Tommy tried to get his dad to play a race and Roger with him. Linda found Tommy try trying to play the game by himself after dinner. She sat down and played a few games with him to cheer him up, but she could tell he w had really wanted to play with Dan. I'm sorry, Tommy. Feel bad now. Okay, this should be day two. Next time we return with the show. Linda got a letter in the mail. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I will continue with episode 2 later, and have a good day. Like if you like this, press the subscribe button if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!